Hey guys, I am here reading our Junie B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly Bus. We are on chapter nine, Zooming Speedy Fast. All right, I like running inside the school. It's funner than running inside your house. In school, you can zoom with your arms out like a jet plane and you don't knock over the furniture. And also, the head doesn't get broken off your mother's spurred statue, which used to be a blue jay, I think. I zoomed straight to the cafeteria, because there's a lot of tables to hide under in that place, only when I tried to open the door, it was all locked up. And so then I ran to another room across the hall, only that stupid door was locked too. Hey, who did all this dumb locking, I asked. Then I started jiggling up and down, because I was having a little bit of a problem. That's why. The kind of problem that's called personal. And it's about going to the potty. And so all of a sudden, I had to run down the hall speedy quick right to the girls' bathroom. Only guess what? When I got there, that door wouldn't open either. Only guess what? Oh, yep. And so I kicked it, and I hanged on the handle because I weigh 37. Up. Open up, and I mean it, I yelled. But the door kept on staying shut. It's emergency, I shouted. And then all of a sudden, I remembered about that boy I can beat up because he had emergency too, and he got to go into the boys' bathroom. And so I zoomed across the hall, and I pulled on the boys' bathroom door, but that door was locked too. Stupid, stupid doors, I hollered. After that, I started to jiggle up and down very fast. Oh no, now I'm going to have an accident on my skirt that looks like velvet. Only just then, I remembered something else about emergencies, because Mother told me what to do if I ever needed help, and that is call 911. And so then I ran back to the dangerous nurse's office, because that's where the phone was, of course. And then I picked it up, and I pushed the 9, and the 1, and another 1. Help, this is emergency, I yelled. All the doors are locked in this place, and I, now I'm going to have a terrible accident. Then I heard a voice on the other end. She said for me to stay calm. Yeah, only I can't, because I'm in big trouble, and I'm all by myself, and I need help real bad. Then the lady said to calm down again, except for I couldn't stand still, and so I just hung up and ran right out of there. And I just kept running and running until I got to the big doors at the end of the hall, and then I run right outside because maybe there might be a little toilet out there or something, except I didn't see one. All I could hear was sirens. Loud sirens were all over the place, and they kept on getting closer and closer, and then a big green fire truck came zooming right around the corner, and a white police car and a very fast red ambulance. And guess what else? They turned right into the school parking lot. And so I stopped jiggling for a second, and I sniffed the air, only I couldn't smell any smoke. And then I heard a grouchy voice say, Hey, hold it, missy! And I got very scared inside, because Missy's my name when I'm in trouble. I turned around, it was the man with the can, and he was running after me. Here's a, a picture to look at. It kind of shows she's run out of the school. There's the janitor, the sirens, and the police car pulling into the parking lot. She's really done, done herself good here. Hold it right there, he hollered again. And then I started to cry. Yeah, only that's the trouble. I can't hold it. I said I'm already holding it all. I can, and now I'm having an emergency, and all the bathrooms are locked, and now I'm going to have an accident very quick. And then the man with the can didn't look so grouchy anymore. Well, why didn't you say so, sis? He said. Then he pulled a big bunch of keys out of his pocket, and he grabbed my hand, and then him and me zoomed back into the school speedy fast. And that's the end of Chapter 9. Stay tuned for Chapter 10 to see what happens.